Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more concept in DBMS that is aggregate functions in SQL. Aggregate functions in SQL. And these are the functions which will be evaluated on a different values of a column. Right? So the first one is count function which will give the count of values of an attribute attribute so these functions these aggregate functions will be applied on a columns okay individual columns so if you use this count function it will give the number of values available for that particular field okay then sum function so this will be applied for a numerical values okay it will be applied for numerical values and it will apply the sum of all values of an attribute of an attribute so if you consider some uh, attribute like uh, subjects or a percentage so it will give the complete sum of all the percentages okay then similarly there's a one more function called average so this will also be applied for the numerical values and it will give the average of all values right similarly minimum it will give the minimum value of an attribute so here the attribute means a column right here the attribute means a column so in that particular column there will be a different values that means a different rows right so among those values it will return the minimum value similarly among all those values it will return the average value among all those values it will give the sum okay and this will give the count the number of values available for that particular column and similar to our mean there is one more function called maximum which will give the maximum value maximum value of an attribute maximum value of an attribute so these are the aggregate functions of in sql right so in the previous sessions we have discussed about the select statement and in that select statements we left two concepts that is a, a group by and having so in order to know about that group by and having first we have to know about this aggregate function so in this session we will see the aggregate functions and in the next session we will see the group by n uh, having class in select command okay so these are the different aggregate functions now let us execute each and every function in a mysql so already we have created one database and in that database we have already created a table right so we will apply these aggregate functions on the attribute of that particular table right so let's move on to the mysql command line interface hello friends so just now we have seen the aggregate functions which are available in sql so let me demonstrate each and every aggregate function in this mysql so let me open this one so giving the password so just i'll clear the screen now we have created one database called youtube so let let us use that particular database and in that database we have created one table i think yes there is a student so see first let, let us check what are the fields available in that particular students so whether the data is available in the student table or not so in order to retrieve the data select star from student yes so we are having around uh, six student details now so what is the first 
aggregate function it's a count right so count function syntax so count of give the attribute attribute name right so here select count of yes name count of yes name right from student so we'll get the count of that particular s name right so let us create uh, one more uh, i mean let us check select count of branch let us check this one branch from student so we got a six count okay so among these six you can observe three are from ECSE and one from ECE and civil and triple so what is the distinct count here so the distinct count is one two three and four so we can also select this one select count of use the keyword distinct distinct branch from student see we got a distinct branch that means the unique count so it will avoid the repetitions it will give a unique count and simply you can also give the select so count star which will give the complete count from student see so there are six rows it 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 implies that there are six rows in the table right so this is the count function this is a count function similarly some function some function so some function is also similar so the syntax for some function sum of attribute name so here select let us check select a star from student so there is a percentage so that's the only numerical thing so select sum of percentage from student so you'll get the complete sum of all the values of an attribute so here the attribute is percentage so whatever the values available in this particular percentage will be added and that will be returned as a sum okay then what's the next one the next one is average average the syntax for this average is avj followed by attribute name so select average of percentage from student so this is the average of a percentage so we have had the percentage of uh, six students so among these six students what's the average percentage the average percentage is some 91.333 and so on so this is an average function then next one a minimum minimum so in order to get the minimum value the syntax is min of attribute name so here you can see select min of percentage from student so this is the minimum percentage so you can see among all the percentages of students so this value is the minimum so that's why we got 78 as a result the minimum percentage and then the next one is maximum maximum so the syntax is similar to our minimum function we will give a maximum of attribute name so select max of uh, percentage from student so we got a maximum percentage so among all the percentages you can see the maximum value is a 99 so we got this one maximum percentage right so this is how we can uh, execute the aggregate functions so select count of attribute name from table name so this is the syntax right 
and here also you need to use a select sum of attribute name from table name and here also select average of attribute name from table name select minimum of attribute name from table name right and the here also you can give select max of attribute name from table name right so this is the aggregate functions all these are the aggregate functions in sql or we can simply call as sql aggregate functions sql aggregate functions right so hope you understood the syntax for all the aggregate functions and we we are going to use these aggregate functions in the queries okay and uh, in the next class we will see about uh, the group by class as well as having class so in that we are going to use these aggregate functions so those class that means are, are group by as well as uh, having will be used in a select command there we, we are going to use this aggregate functions right so hope you understood this one let's stop here and if you are having any doubts regarding these aggregate functions feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much